So earlier I showed you the Hello Per app and building that, and, and hopefully you've built this yourself, okay? And now, you know, I'm going to show you some solutions to some of the kind of customization exercise you were given. Okay, so here's my app. I've got these blocks that just say when I click the button, play that meow sound, right? You, you may be getting sick of that meow sound by now, but, you know, here's my emulator running the app. I, you know, I connected my emulator to, to my code, and if I click the cat, I can hear it meow. Okay, so let's add an addition. We want to make it so when you click the button, it plays the sound and it vibrates um, the phone. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to show you on the emulator the vibration, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, what, when, whenever an event occurs, like the button clicked, anything in here is going to happen, and it's going to happen in order. So we're already going, to, already going to play the sound, but if I go back to the sound component, it's got a vibrate. Um, function I can call. So I want to call vibrate on my sound and then there's this weird thing down here it says milliseconds and what it means is you can tell uh, the phone how long to vibrate. Okay in this case I'm going to go to math I'm going to grab a number block. Okay I want to I want to vibrate for more than zero milliseconds. A millisecond is a one one thousandth of a second. Okay so in other words if I put a thousand here, my phone is going to vibrate for one second because one thousand times one over a thousand is one, right? If I put five hundred here, oops, sorry, if I change this to five hundred, my phone will vibrate for half a second. Okay, you have to test this on your phone. Um, like I said, for me, when I click, it's just going to meow. This emulator doesn't know how to vibrate. Okay, so go, go try it out, but this is basically the solution.